up on another high spot here overlooking this large tailings lake at the Denison Mine site. Over there, that's actually the other side of that huge dam at the Denison Mine site. That's what all the water here that that dam is holding back. And you can imagine if that dam ever let go what would happen. Because this lake is not a small lake as you'll see. way down there and there's another dam way down there at the end of this lake. Those dams separate the mine tailings from the natural watershed. I've never been on this side of this uh, tailings lake before. I didn't even know there was a road over here and I'm not sure how far it goes. There's a dam down there. That's the dam that I'm headed to. So I'm going to walk along that dam and see if there's any kind of a trail at the end of that dam. There's a raven flying out there. I don't know if I can get him. There he is, yeah. Uh, it's pretty blurry. The camera doesn't want to focus on it. Oh, there. It's picking him up a little bit. has to be in the center for it to focus on it. Anyways. Hard to keep a bird in the center flying. Anyways, that's it. This big tailings like here at Denison Mine Site. Beautiful place though. All these mine sites have real beautiful spots. I had to climb into this one. I didn't even know it existed. I just saw a high rocky area and I said I gotta get in there and see what's up there. And lo and behold, I got a good view. I quite often get good views from coming into these places. Just beautiful, quiet as anything, just the wind. But I've got my new baffle on the microphone, the microphone on this camera now, so uh, it shouldn't be any problem.